threats. Let us see. Uh, we are going with plane refraction applications. Okay. Light is incident at an angle theta with respect to the axis of a one plane edge of a transparent cylindrical fiber of refractive index under root 1.25. Okay, I will show the figure later. Determine the maximum value of theta so that light entering the rod does not come out of the curved surface. This is the condition. Okay, you understood the question? What is what is asking? The condition for theta. That to maximum means we should get an inequality or equality? Inequality. Inequality. We should get answer in inequality. Inequality. Okay. Light entering does not come out of the curved surface. Okay, beta. Let us go with this. Okay. Let us see. This uh, is a transparent cylindrical. Fiber. Okay, clear, sure, and this is an axis of this. Okay, this is axis of this. Sure. Now. This is the angle of incidence. How much? Theta. He is giving condition on the theta only now? Yes. Rarer medium to denser. Now, what happens? The light ray is supposed to move like this if this uh, cylindrical uh, transparent medium is not there. Means how this light ray is supposed to move? Stretch. But it, it will move towards the normal or away from the normal? Very good. Towards the now this is uh, what? This is some angle of incidence here. This is angle of incidence here. What is this angle of refraction? Angle of refraction. Then what is this? R only no? Yes, because these are two parallel lines. This is transfer. Uh, yeah. This is 90 minus R. And again it will get reflected back. Again it will get reflected back. Again it will get reflected back. This should continue. It should not go out, right? Light ray should not go out. This is a condition. Means all the angles are 90 minus R. Means 90 minus R should be greater than or equal to critical time. You will accept or not. Yes, it's obvious. Okay? Then only this condition will exist. But we need a relation in terms of theta. Means we should relate R with theta. Yeah. Obviously, we can relate I also. Yes. What law? Snell's law. Mu of A. 1 into sin theta is equals. Is equals. Uh, mu into sin R. So, uh, sin R is nothing but sin theta upon mu. That is sin R. Okay, whatever it is. Now you see, listen, I am taking cos on both sides. Any problem for you? Sure. Why? Because I want sin R. I want to take that advantage. But when we take cos on both sides, it is increasing or decreasing function? Decreasing function. So decreasing function causes. That's why inequality reverses. Okay? So cos of 90 minus R is less than or equal to cos of Yes. Sin R is equal is less than or equal to cos. Okay, cos is nothing but under root 1 minus sin square C. Sin square C is nothing but mu square. Sure? Any doubt in this? Is it clear or not? Now, what is a sin R? Sin theta upon mu is less than or equal to mu times under root mu square minus 1 by mu. Yes or no? Sure. Yes. Now, sin theta is less than or equal to under root mu square minus 1 mu. How much? Guys, kita diya ka? Under root 1.25. So, how much? This is 1.25. 0.25. Under root 0.25. It is nothing but 
nothing but sin theta is less than or equal to sure zero one by four one upon four one upon two so this is nothing but is less than or equal to sin thirty this is nothing but what sin thirty sin theta less than or equal to sin thirty means theta is less than in or equal to thirty because sin is an increasing function. Okay, so it implies what? Theta is less than or equal to thirty. So clear? Is it? Sure. No doubts. Any doubts? What is asking to find? So theta maximum is how much now? Thirty degrees or pi by six radians. Okay. For the points. Thank you.